Barfi. One word is all it took to get your mouth watering, isn't it? We aren't denying that jalebis are heavenly and pedas just wonderful. But the Dodha Barfi is magic in a square. How was it born? A secret inventor? A foreign traveller? Who gets the credit? Hi, I'm Christelle D'Souza and this is episode 2 of Tales of Taste by The Better India. The beginning of the Dodha Barfi rests in the hands of a fussy Punjabi lad. Now, Harban's wig was a wrestler in Punjab and he was tired of the monotonous ghee and milk diet that he had to consume every day. He decided he needs an upgrade. So he went into the kitchen, experimented with a few ingredients here and there and came up with an astonishing result, an energy-rich snack. Into the pan went milk, cream, sugar and ghee and what he got was a decadent dodha barfi that went down in India's culinary history. If you are planning to prepare it, be warned, it's hours of tedious stirring that awaits you. Seven hours to be precise, you've been told. But what you will end up with is a mithai that is not just great for your palate, but also your health. Now you must be wondering, what happened to the Whig family? Well, during the partition, they moved from Pakistan's Punjab to India's Punjab, eventually settling into a place called Kotkapura, where they started the Royal Dodha House, which is now managed by the wrestler's great-grandson, Whippin Whig. If you go to the website of the Royal Dodha House, it reads, The recipe of Dodha is a closely guarded secret that has passed from generation to generation. When we eat Dodha today, it tastes the same as it did to our forefathers 104 years back. You'll be surprised that the Dodha Barfi even made it to the White House on its 100th birthday. So it comes as no surprise that it is the sweet pride of Punjab as it has been for generations. So, what is your state's sweet pride? Do let us know in the comments.